right, brethren. Good up, good evening, everyone. How are you? Hope you have a wonderful day today. It's a pleasure to come your way again today. And uh, and I want to encourage every one of you to to get relaxed as you're gonna enjoy God to, to die. Uh, I'm sure in the past times you've been having a wonderful time. Today, this night is gonna be extraordinary. Even as you as you join in today, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be powerful. We have a pastor. Um, well, he doesn't like to be to be addressed like that, but but I want you to know that he's a big man of God. He's highly used of God. He's well informed and well, very much more uh, um, modern. So. So um, I, I want you all to be ready today. Is the pastor in charge of Grace Drive in Lagos, a very big church. And um, well, I won't say much more, but after you hear him yourself, you will come back and tell me what you got. But, but today I want you to know we'll be talking on uh, discovery and then and, and, and recovery yourself. So. Self, self-discovery and self-rediscovery. Uh, so, per adventure you are lost, or per adventure you don't even know where you are, Tonight, today you're going to find yourself. Any moment from now, we're bringing Pastor on. And um, for those of you who are just joining in, you are welcome. Kingsley uh, Ukumani, you are welcome. Pastor K, you are welcome. West, West Clem, you are welcome. Fluto Lees, you are welcome. Uh, while the others, while you are joining, we'll be waiting on you, on you. Uh, Michael Ojunuga, you are welcome. So I'll be bringing in Pastor any moment from now, so that so that we can have Shego Samuel World. You are welcome, Marvel Zeta. You are welcome. Wow, God bless you. Oh, Laughing Light, you are welcome. And and I want you to know that today is not like every other day. It's a day with a difference, and it's gonna be awesome. Uh, Pastor will be joining. And um, you're gonna have a wonderful time tonight. I all of them, sir. You're welcome. Uh, yes, Pastor is. Oh, wow, you know, I told you everything about him is different. I think I, I and I wanted to be on native. I, oh, I, didn't, I didn't listen to that thing. That thing was telling me, do native, do native. Ah, oh. But uh, uh, because I'm sorry, you so are to, you are beginning to agree with me. You can see this is completely different. I told you everything about him is just different. Pastor, you are welcome. We, ble- we bless God, God, sir. We bless God. Good uh, afternoon, sir. Thank Pastor, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. We yes, bless God. It's a pleasure to. It's a pleasure to have you on. It's a pleasure to. Uh, 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 for you to honor our inv- invite, mm. uh, we are mm. very it's grateful. So, it's it, it and, is such, it is such an honor to be here, sir. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Uh, how are you and the family? God. Very well. We are good. Oh, I, hope, I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Uh, thank you all so yes, much. Yes. Good. I, I yes, think it's I evening. Think so. It's well, already evening in the uh, in the UAE yes, yes, in Dubai. Yes, yes. So so good yes. evening well, and and well, good day to all well, our viewers. We have from all over the world, sir. Uh, we have yes, viewers yes, from all over yes. the world. Good day, good, yep. day, good day to all so, our viewers, wherever you're connecting okay. uh, with us from. God bless you. Um, it's really a honor and a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much, pa- Pastor uh, Yemi Kezo. A great work you are doing thank you with so the much, Unstoppable sir. Generation. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, sir. So, um, uh, so, so, so our viewers, uh, we're looking at self-discovery and rediscovery today. So our pastor is fully loaded. Fully ready to do uh, 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 to deal with that. <laughs> anyway, so I will leave the stage for him. Pastor, please take us in open prayer as we as we continue, sir. Father Almighty, our Creator, our Maker, our Shaper, our Feeler, our All in All, the one that created us, the Manufacturer that has given us purpose. Thank you for grace today. Thank you for just grace to be alive. Thank you for the privilege to be living. Thank you for this opportunity you have given us once again to share, oh God. Spirit of the living God, we pray you have you, you take absolute control. You have your way. Let the words of today go out with so much power that it blesses our lives and changes our situation for the better. Daddy Lord, we pray that even in all of this that we are doing and in this fellowship and engagement, let thy kingdom come and let thy will be done. 
to the glory of your name Amen. and your name alone. Thank you, everlasting Amen. Father. Blessed Thank be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty Amen. name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Glory Thank be to God. God. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Oh, 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 over to you, sir. Well, yeah, okay. Oh, yes, sir. Th 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 thank you so much. So, um, first and foremost, I, um, I just, I mean, it's just an awesome privilege and, and, uh, and I'm not taking it lightly. It was just be a sharing and I expect that there'll be a lot of, um, uh, conversation. And when I say conversation, I, I want it to be interactive. So if anybody has a comment, they can feel free to just put it up there. It is just a sharing again. <laughs> Because um, we, we just want to talk about self-discovery. And in every man's journey, um, it is very important that you discover who you really are, what you are about. You, you, it's very important that you know what the essence of, you know, um, th there was a joke. Uh, let me start this way. There was a joke way back then that, you know, um, when, when you open your eyes, the first time you opened your eyes and, and, and you saw a ceiling fan for those of you that were born in Nigeria and you saw it rolling. I, I know probably the feeling, ceiling fan was KDK. Then you cried out and you say, Oh God, where are you? And they thought, you know, I mean, that, that's why every child cries. I say, Oh God, why am I here? So, so, so in self discovery, you, you, you must, you must start to look at a few things and they're very pertinent question. Five of them that every man should and every woman should thrive should, should strive rather should strive to answer in life number one you must answer the question of who am i who are you and and, and this is pertinent in self-discovery i would like to talk first about discovery self-discovery first and then we can take it a notch higher into rediscovery because what people find out that you could have discovered yourself but discovery is not just, it's, not, it's a process. It's not a destination. You don't say, I've discovered and then you are there. You must continue to rediscover yourself per time. And, 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 and that's part of what we're going to, to latch on later. But the pertinent questions that you need to answer in life, strictly so, is who am I? Who am I? And I'm not talking about your name. I'm not talking about, you know, I'm just saying, what, what is your essence? What is your core? Who am I? The second thing that you must answer. So who am I is a question of identity. That is the first thing in discovering yourself. The question of identity, who am I? Then we talk about the second question, which says, where am I from? Where am I from talks about the question of your source. Really, I mean, also, it is not just that your mother and your father came together and then you were birthed, okay? There is more to it that you are who you are and you have come from a certain place. So the question of source, what is your source, is where am I from? The third one is, why am I here? Why am I here is a question of purpose. What is this all about? Why did I need to come? Why am I, you know, existing? Why, why do I have life? Why am I breathing? Why am I, why am I a human being? Why am I just, why didn't I just stop at being a figment of the imagination of the almighty? Why am I here? It is very important. And that comes to the question of purpose. Then you talk about what can I do? What is it that I can do? Um, uh, so, so what I can do talks about it, a, a question of potential. Because, okay, you are here for a purpose, so what can you do? What potential lies on your inside that, for, you know, th that you have to give to the world? What is it? What, as in, because once you understand why you're here, then you begin to say, okay, what can I do to make what, uh, uh, to fulfill the purpose of why I'm, why I'm here? And the last one is where am I going? Where am I going? That talks about the question of destiny. We are you know, talking about the, where is the destination and where, where is all of this going to and where, where is it all going to end? Where, where am I going to shut my eye? Where is the curtain going to close? And, and where are we going to end all of this up? That is where am I going? So, I mean, those are five critical questions that I, and I don't know, maybe because of, uh, based on the time we have, we'll try our best because I still want it to be interactive so that we can also uh, engage one another. So, but, Talking about um, who am I, who am I, everybody in life at some point will have to answer that question, really. What is this all about? Who am I? And, and, and I'll take you to scripture. Who am I is a question that was asked by several people. 
by several people. Moses asked, who am I? Uh, um, uh, in, uh, uh, Gideon asked, who am I? Uh, Judges chapter 6, verse 11 to 15, Gideon said, who am I? First um, Samuel chapter 9, verse 19 to 21, Saul said, who am I? Um, Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 18 to 19, David said, who am I? Um, you know, so everybody keeps asking. Elijah also said, who am I? You, you see, Moses said, I mean, who am I? So everybody is asking that, okay, who am I? Some, something needs to validate who you are. And for you to understand who you are, there are a few things that are truth. There are a few things that are... So the other questions corroborate who you are. The other questions of where are you from will corroborate who you are. Let's start with the issue of your source. It will help you to identify who you actually are. By the time you know where you are from, by the time you know that the person that created you is the most high, by the time you know that the producer, the person that that sanctioned you and, and signed off on your quality tests before you were released to the world is the perfect, excellent God. By the time you know that, you know, the person that manufactured you and made sure, listen, you, you, you went through the process of heaven. Genesis chapter 2, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let him have dominion. So understand that you are from a source that does not lie. You are from a source that is true. You are from a source that cannot be faulty. You are from a God that cannot, cannot be in error. Once you understand this, you, the source where you come from matters a lot. You see, if you, if, if, if you know your manufacturer, it, it, it gives you, a, if you take a product, for instance, pardon me, I am very uh, high on um, maybe Apple, for instance. Now, when the product is Apple, <laughs> when the product, you know, when it's an Apple product, okay, and there are several. Listen, you, you, you come to understand that if anything has the Apple logo on it, you there is an expectation that you have of excellence, of quality. If anything has the Lamborghini logo on it, there is an expectation. If something has the Rolls Royce, listen, you, when you see a Kia, it's a vehicle. It was made by a certain manufacturer. When you see a Toyota, it's, you know, whatever, you, you would know. But when you see a, Ro a Phantom Rolls Royce with the logo on it, it is speaking something about what that, that product with the Rolls Royce logo is. What gives you the confidence is because you know where this Rolls Royce is from. It's from a place of excellence. It's from a place where nothing is left to chance. So you must know that the God that created you is such an excellent God, and he did not spare any resource. He did not, he did not mise. You see, it, 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 it wasn't as if um, your, your components of production or the raw materials in, in, in bringing you together, it wasn't as if it ran short. He was not miserly with it. Mm -hmm. You need to understand that. He said, let us make man. And he told us, he said, in our own image, in our image, let us make man in our image. So you are not just, not only that you are, you are made by God, you are made of God, like God, after our likeness. There is a prototype to your, man of, to your composition. There is a, see, these are things that will make you genuine to know that, look, you are not a, an imitation. Interestingly, no mm -hmm. human being is, a, is an imitation. You are not inferior. Can I say a few things to you? You are valid. Yes, sir. I, 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 I just mm -hmm. need to repeat that. You are valid. You are unique in yourself. God is not a waster. He, he made you like none other. You need to know this foundational truth in discovering who you are. The challenge is the world will try to tell you what you should be. This is a major issue, Papa mm -hmm. People try to define you. People try to label you. They try to make you. So, so, so they set standards for you of their expectation of you. But you should not be answerable to anyone's standard outside the standard of God that created you. He's the one that has made you. Look, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 31, it says, And God saw everything he has made and behold it was very good you were in that scope of very good that god has made do you understand what i'm talking about if the excellent god if the god that 
that, 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 that knows the number of the sand and the beaches. If the God that is in charge, the one that opened his hand and the whole of creation is satisfied. If the God that has put the boundaries to the seas is the one, if the one that, that opposed the firmament in the air, if the one that has made the, given the consistency to the sun that it never fails to rise in due season, if the God that is in charge of the earth and every of creation is the one that made you and he has certified you, uh, you are certified of heaven you, you need to understand this because because some because if you don't if these things are not ingrained in your heart if these things are not if, if you don't hold on tenaciously to this truth you may begin to feel inferior Listen, wherever you are listening to us from, you are not inferior. You are not substandard. You are not, the, you are not an imitation. Can I tell you something? There's only you. You are the only you. You are the only prototype that God has made. And he chose that you are just that design. No other design. Listen, you are, you are custom, customized. You are purpose-built. Mm. The place where I work, there's something called, called built to suit. So your design, your configuration, your specification, you know, <laughs> how God, you need to, <laughs> wow. you, you, you need to wow. know this. You, 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 listen, you, you, you need to know this mm. because this is what guarantees. Listen, and, 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 and let me tell you about products and, 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 and uh, production lines. Let me tell you about manufacturing. Now, when a Rolls Royce is made, now, in the factory, there are different levels of tests. There are different levels of quality tests. The last thing that is put on that Phantom Rolls Royce or on that Ferrari or on that Lamborghini, the last thing that is put is the label. The last thing they put is their logo, is their brand. So, listen, Rolls Royce will not release the car into the market until everything is certified. So the same way God did not release you to the world until he said in Genesis chapter 2 verse 31, he said he saw everything and behold, it was, he certified you. You passed the, 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 the quality test. And you, you need to just understand that. Once you have this ingrained and you know your source, it helps you so much in determining, in, in discovering yourself. So it means that Regardless of how every other person is, regardless of how people want you to be, you are the best of who you are in God. So far, you remain what he wants you to be. He has made you for a purpose. Listen, listen, yeah. people, people fall into the era of identity. A lot of people are not able to define themselves. A lot of people, you see, so they allow others to define them. You should never allow others to define you. You should never allow your circumstance mm -hmm. to define you. You should never allow the, the order, the world system to judge you. Who says, listen, we went through school. And even the education of this world is part of the world system that defines some people. And when you were in school, certain things were said to you, or maybe as you were growing up, when you know, when you, certain things were said, and people labeled you in a certain way. And some people are struggling because they are carrying that baggage of wrong and false identity. I want to put you back to scripture. God said that you are beautiful. You are valid. Listen, mm. he did not make any mistake when he made you. So when you understand the source, when you understand the source from where you're coming from, it helps you to define who you are. It helps you to answer the question, who am I? Where, why am I here? Now, you are not an error. You see, when you come to the world system, no matter how science or technology or whatever excellent um, uh, production levels are, they do certain things that are called a recall. They recall. So, for instance, I know that maybe yeah. Volkswagen um, will do a batch of cars and they'll say, okay, there needs to be a recall. Or somebody will make a product and say, oh, oh sorry, there was a glitch in the system. There is never a glitch in the system of God. So you are designed yeah. perfectly to be released to the world. Why am I here? Now, there are several reasons into why, why you are here. And that is you, that is you striving to, to answer 
the, the question of purpose. Why are you here? But I want to tell you something predominantly that must sit in your heart. And everything I'll be telling you are just foundational truths. Every other thing can be laid on it, but foundational truths of why you are here. Revelations 4 verse 11. It says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things and for thy mm. pleasure. They were created. Yeah. You are mm. created to give the creator pleasure. This is why you are here. Mm. You are here on an assignment, and whatever it is you are sent to do is to give God pleasure. Listen, he had predetermined this. He had already set this in motion. Listen, God did not make you, then start to think that, hmm, what are we going to do? It's not like they gave birth to you and God started looking for, okay, uh, you know, looking for a, a, a course of action, or God started looking for an assignment to give you. Your assignment pre-existed before you, before you came. He made you. He was speaking to Jeremiah. He said, I have made it before I formed, I knew you, before your mother and your father came together. It's in your, before I, I have ordained you a prophet because that is your assignment. Your purpose already is, already, it is already laid down. So you are released for purpose. You are an arrow shot at a target. You are not, you are not misfired. You are not a, an accidental mm. discharge. You, there is a reason and a purpose under God that you are sent here to meet. These are foundational truths that you must know in, in answering, in, I mean, in the area of self-discovery. Before you start to find out other little details, these things are the things that you must be able, you must be able to have ingrained in your mind and in your soul by the Spirit of God. What can I do? What can I do? Now, all of these things, and, 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 it's, and when these things are connecting together, you start to find out what can you do. But whatever it is, I tell you a truth. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 is the foundational truth on the question of what can you do. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do what all things through Christ. It means that whatever your assignment requires, you are equipped to do it. Mm, mm, mm. whatever your mm. assignment requires you have it in you to do it listen there is something the scientists you see I, I, and i love science because science is chasing after god but they don't know <laughs> scientists deny they, they, they deny the existence of the <laughs> almighty but what is happening okay. is that they are chasing up because they are giving listen there is something the scientists call dna they are is on because they don't they, they have not come they in your composition by your design in your specification by the time you look at your manual and open you see there's somewhere where they said specification and they start to talk about how you were made if you go into that you start to see something called dna there is a way you are wired there is a way you know there are certain instinctive intuitions that god has just put together delicately meshed together on your inside all of this is for you to be able to do something the next man cannot all of this is for you to be able to do something in a certain way only you can do. All of this is, listen, you, the uniqueness, the uniqueness, your uniqueness speaks about the glory of God. God mm -hmm. takes glory in your uniqueness. You, you, you must understand it. He is not a mass producer. It's not like he just, you know, put, you know, all of, no, no, no twins, no matter, no matter how identical. No matter what, there is a uniqueness, and that just speaks to the glory of God. Whatever the world population is, you know, in, in their billion, six billion, I imagine, or even more now, whatever the world population is, it speaks to the glory of God that uniquely God can design different individuals and send them on a particular mission, and each one is equipped to deliver that mandate in a way that is not common to the other. In a way that is not common to the other. The last question before we go into the meat of probably maybe I, I will go back to, to where am I where where am I from and, and I know that maybe there will be questions mm -hmm. coming. I'll appreciate them as, as they come. So the, the, the other question is what is where am I going? Is where am I going? And this is uh, I, I got a revelation um, some, some some years back and, and the Lord was telling me to look at the sun and I kept looking at the sun and it was you know just trying trying to make me study the sun and and then. From that revelation, he, he told me three things, three important things. There is beauty at sunrise. There is power 
at, at noonday, when the sun is high, there is power. When it's rising, sunrise is very beautiful. There is power when the sun is overhead and it's really scorching. And I know, you know, my, 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 my brother, my pastor, uh, Yabi Kiazo, will know that in Dubai. <laughs> when this, there is a lot of power. Then he says, then he told me, there is glory at sunset. When the sun has done its beat for the day, and you see, you know, that sunset, it, it speaks of glory. The sun is saying, look, I have come. I was beautiful as I started. There was enough power for me to mm -hmm. deliver energy to the whole world. And mm -hmm. as I am ending for the day, you will see that glorious, that, that, that sunset glory. And that is where you are going. You are going to a place of fulfillment because where I'm going talks about destiny. That, that that is what answers it in Second Timothy chapter four from verse seven to eight. Second Timothy chapter four from verse seven, from verse seven to eight, I believe. Uh, Paul was speaking there. He said, "I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith." That is a that is that is a man that got where he is going on the cross. Jesus hung there and he said, "It is finished." Mm, that is where he's going. That is what it's about. He, being able to deliver and. And, 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 and be drained out of every of these resources that God has given to you. And to be able to come back and say, now it is done. Now I am done with what I am set to do. Where you're going is a place of fulfillment. But if you're not able to answer some of these intricate questions, you may not. You may not be able to get to that place. And I pray that God will help us. I mean, God will help you to, to get there. If, 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 if there are a few things I, I have to say to you. Number one is that you are valid. You are, you are not you, you are not you, you, you are not you are not a duplication a mass you are you are not a mass production you are unique you are like none other god knows regardless listen whatever it is oh this is how you are made up these are your this is the way you are you know they talk about different uh, they say um I, I can't remember what they call them the um when they group people the melancholy the this uh, no matter listen no matter the uh, phlegmatic all this you are valid the way you are. You are valid with, with, the, with God's design cannot be faulted. All to his glory. He is a perfect designer. I, I, I don't know. If you look at and if you look at certain things, if you look at wristwatches, you, you see that there are scales and there are levels of how wristwatches are done. I don't know if you're a collector or something. So there's some watches you look at and you and you wonder that and then they'll tell you that this was handcrafted. If you're talking about some some some, some, some designer labels for you to know, so some will go, yeah. some will go through the machine, some will just go through mass production. The yeah. will just do it, but there is a level you will get to that they will say, look, you will pay a premium price on something that was handcrafted. The Bible says you are you you you, you, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You he he, he designed you handcrafted. So there is a premium on you answering the question of 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 who you are of who you are you, you must realize you must realize the future I, I don't know what i say half time i don't know if you can help me with time yeah, just by, by, yes, okay okay yes, yes. <laughs> exactly so, but, but but if there are no questions you will take up to 10 i don't know uh, okay. viewers please send me your questions viewers please send me your questions now all right go all ahead right. sir so, no, I, I, I would love you to be engaging and interacting. If there are any questions, please just yeah. shoot it and, and, and then yeah. we, can, we, we can chew on them. But, yeah. but, but, but what I was going to say that now in, in, in you discovering yourself, there is something that is very pertinent that you must know. You must know that you are designed in such a way that, and, 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 and I hope this analogy helps me to, to, to explain this. That you know there is something called the operating system of, of 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 a device. So the device has a capacity, and then there needs to be you need to download. And and, and if you know whichever phone you're using, at a certain point they will tell you, oh, an upgrade is due. You know, and they will tell you about the operating That's system. Yeah. Yes. So it it it, it 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 makes me understand that as you are produced and you are let go into the world. You remain somewhat of a shell, except we start to interrogate the operating system on your inside. 
So the way you are designed means that you are supposed to be a carrier of an OS. You are supposed mm. to be, you know, so so you because you are so unique, because you are so you, you are because you, you you are so delicately put together, right? The OS will take the form of your design. <laughs> I don't know whether you got that. The, the OS will yeah, I know that's the, right. the, the OS will be manifested by your design. The the, the operating system mm-hmm. will be manifested mm-hmm. in the so if you are if you are a reserved person, if you are a quiet, you know, if you are somebody that just speaks and just says, Oh man, today has been good. I just like what God is doing. I mean, if that's your design, you are perfect <laughs> and, and you are okay. You, the, the OS, the operating system on your mm-hmm. inside will manifest by that design that you have. Or if you are like me and you can mm-hmm. easily speak mm-hmm. or, 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 you know, or you, you're, more, you're very much vocal and you are this or you are... So, uh, so you need to know that you need to operate by what is on your inside. Listen, don't let the world box you into a box that God has not given you. Mm-hmm. Don't let the world mm-hmm. make you... Listen, you, because you're so unique, because you're so different, because the person that made you did not make a mistake, you need to have expression because the OS needs your... It is that it is your expression to the world. Your, the OS must follow your expression to the world of your design. He did not make a mistake to make you the way that you are. The world tries to tell you, this is how to speak. The world tries to tell you, this is these are the conformable ways of... Look, look, we have had a lot of problems, a lot of inferiority issues, a lot of, um, what is it called? A, a, a lot of complexes, rather. A lot of complexes people have had. People say, oh, why are you like this? Others are not like that. Why, why you know, p- people try to give you a standard. This is how to do this. This is how to do that. There is no how to do it other than how God tells you to do what he has told you to do. There is no how. There is no other how best suited for you to deliver your purpose other than the way God has told you to do it. It is not by design of the world. See, the world is expecting something. But listen, God has gone beyond the expectation of the world. Listen, you, 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 you need to know who you are. You need to understand that with him manifesting on your inside, he, there is that beauty, that radiance in him being able to, to, to take... Look, when you have a container and you pour in the content, the content will take the shape of the container. Likewise, as you are a child of God and a vessel to be used and you are filled by him, then he manifests in the form and in the shape of your design. That's how he manifests. That's how he manifests. And you must understand that except your OS is upgraded mm. and in tune to that which your manufacturer designed you for. <laughs> Except that you are nothing. Listen, you are, you, oof, maybe it's a strong word to use, but you cannot be useful in the area of destiny and purpose if you do not have that OS working on your inside. Come on. You are empty yeah, that's and you are, you are empty and you cannot deliver his intent. You may spend your life running and chasing after your ambition. You may spend your life running and chasing after, you know, other things or other people's designs and other people's um, goals and other people's purposes. But for you to achieve what he wants you to do, there's a scripture that says that it is God that is at work in us, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. There is a good pleasure to God and is the one that will come on your inside both to give you the willingness and the ability to do. That is, he is the one that is working us both to will and to do of his good pleasure. I, 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 if I take certain people, uh, I mean, if you look at, um, I mean, if you go through scripture, Gideon was made to understand without him, you are nothing. God was telling Gideon, he said, it is you and I, Judges chapter 16, verse 15, 15 Judges chapter 6, Verse fifteen to sixteen. If you look at, um, you know, you, you need to. So 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 there's a challenge, and 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 let me say this quickly, and and we'll see this best in the life of Paul the apostle, a great, a great, wonderful, a great, wonderful apostle of God. Now, sometimes 
because you are not connected and it's about connection it is mm. via that connection that you download the most recent operating system mm. sometimes mm. if you are not connected mm. you may download the wrong operating system and until you wow. delete and remove and empty yourself of every wrong operating system then you don't have the chance to receive the operating system that god has made to work with your design to fulfill his purpose and i'll give you a good illustration about paul about paul so when paul started he was in a place of self-discovery and he discovered that he was one that was passionate about religion and he discovered that he was a, you know a roman a pharisee and those were the areas of him discovering himself he started to discover himself as a learned person he started to discover himself as as a persecutor of brethren, this was his discovery, and he was working with that operating system until he had to be emptied of the previous operating system and then have the infilling of the listen. There needs to be a switch, <laughs> you need to have wow. that switch. You see, in, Phil in Philippians, I think, in Philippians chapter 3, from verse 7, from verse 7 to 11, Philippians. 3 from verse 7 to 11. I don't know whether yeah. I can just pick up that scripture quickly. He said, but yeah. that, but what things were gained for me, those I counted lost for Christ. This is when he was doing, when he was, when he was doing the migration. <laughs> it's called a migration. You migrate from mm. this to that. See, so he said, but the things that were gained for me, <laughs> those I counted lost for Christ. Yeah, doubt, doubtless. I count all things but lost. For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung. That means or every other thing that I had gotten, every other thing that I was, you know, you know, it, 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 when I was operating in the other system, it is all filthy, empty, and useless. Or because I had to empty myself of all of that and then take up Christ. Wow, you need to read that from verse from verse seven to eleven. So whoever you are, so 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 for you to come to a place of self discovery, and this happens to a lot of people. And, and, and let me say this to the youth, because um, you need to quickly have certain things, and you do not make the, the the you do not fall into the same errors, you know, the same errors of our fathers. Now, a lot mm. of people are chasing and running for self-discovery you know so you're pursuing education you're getting in your 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 you have your admission you get your bsc or your first degree you get your masters and all and that starts to define you like paul was defining himself you know a student of law and that and then you get to a point that you now later found out find out in life that look it's not all about this this is not who i am this is not what i'm meant to do this is not what this is all about Peter, all his life, was a fisherman. fisherman. He, di mm. he discovered himself as a fisherman. A great one at that in his own, in his own era and in his own time. He knew where to put the, put the net. He knew how to do all of this. So, fish, until Jesus met him and said, Oh boy, what are you doing around here? Fishing? You are meant to be a fisher of men. You, you need to understand it. Mm. So, you, so, 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 not, so that, <laughs> not new food. <laughs> not tilapia. Not, uh, <laughs> not macro. <laughs> not not I'm telling you. So, 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 that, so at a certain point when you have discovered certain things about yourself, you now graduate to start to rediscover. And this is the place of rediscovery that I was talking about. If you look at the life of Peter, he kept rediscovering himself. Even after he had taken in the right OS, he kept rediscovering himself. His introduction was changing from time to time. There was a time he said, oh, this is Paul, the apostle. Mm. The time he later came and said, Paul, the bond servant. Later, he came and said, Paul, the prisoner. <laughs> he started to find out different dimensions of, you know, as he kept on going in Christ, he started to know and understand that, listen, this is what I thought I was, but now at this dimension, this is where I think I will be. And as you graduate, you start to discover more because once you discover yourself, it doesn't end there, except God is done with you. Except you are, you know, you, you don't, the full discovery, discovery is a continuous process. That is why children of light, you must give yeah. time to continue to rediscover yourself. 
reinvent and rediscover yourself. There are several people. Look, um, Esther, for instance. At the time, Esther thought all about her was that she was a fine girl. That was all. And she discovered that, oh, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a damsel. I am a babe. I am a, you know, whatever mm -hmm. word you want to use now. Hot, everything. Esther was just a beauty, gorgeous queen. And if you ask Esther, mm -hmm. Esther, what are you all about? You say beauty. She will say beauty, that's all. And at a certain time, by certain events and certain opportunities, she redefined and rediscovered herself that not only is she a Hebrew beauty, she's now a queen. Mm -hmm. So it was rediscovery that she was a queen. But if she stopped at just being a queen, she would not have fulfilled entirely the purpose of God. Because at a certain time, she found out that not only are you a beauty, not only are you a queen, but Mordecai told her, in Esther chapter 4, he said, who knows whether you are not brought for such a time as this. Then she found out that she was not only be a beauty, not only a queen, but also a deliverer. A deliverer. Mm. Also a deliverer. Mm. So th these, these, you see, 